To the untrained eye, most would look at this black Jeep and see it's the same Jeep I had just last week. Well, that's what all my friends and neighbors thought when I showed them my new Jeep I bought on Halloween. I got a lot of puzzled looks. I tried to explain the differences, but it was like talking to a deer in headlights. So I thought I'd give you a layman's video tour of my new Jeep and how she is different from my old Jeep. Okay, here are my feet. And here's my Jeep. Listen. Okay, let's take a look inside. It looks exactly the same to the non-Jeep eye, but these are heated seats. And read this stitching, Rubicon. Now, my favorite two buttons are here on the left of the steering wheel. My husband likes to call these buttons the $7,000 buttons. When you are in four wheel low and you push this sway bar button, it disconnects the sway bars. Okay, simple. Remember the first time I went off-roading in that video on the trails? Well, here, let me show you. Okay, back driver, back driver. Stay with it, stay with it, stay with it. Keep going, keep going. Easy. Okay, passenger, passenger. If I did that in my Rubicon and my sway bars were disconnected, both front tires would have probably stayed connected with the ground. Now this button right here, the axle lock button, I like to call it my get out of jail free card. See how my tires were spinning? Well, if I get stuck like that in the mud or snow, this button will give power to all my tires instead of the spinning one. Okay, back outside. So, this is my soft top. It's a premium soft top. It rides a lot quieter and it has more give when I decide to take the top down and put it back up. And now the fenders. These fenders are plastic. They're not painted like the Sahara fenders, but they will be easier to cut. And look at these babies, stock Rubicon tires. I'd tell you what the numbers are, but you would most likely have no earthly idea what I was talking about. Let's just say they are off-road tires. And don't worry, this stock bumper will be going and I'll be getting back my Barricade Trail Force HD bumper this week. And my all-time favorite barricade rock sliders will be back on right here. And look at these. These are rock rails. Rubicon rock rails. They help protect the Jeep on those rocky trails. So I'll be leaving these on and adding my rock sliders for extra protection. Okay, we're underneath the Jeep now. This is where it can get technical, but I'll make it simple. This is a differential. In the front of my Sahara, I had a Dana 30, and the rear was a 44. Well, in the Rubicon, both my differentials are Dana 44s. Bigger is better in this case, and my gear ratio in the Rubicon is 4 to 10 instead of the Sahara's 3 to 21. Okay, I'm still underneath the Jeep. Now, this is a 4 to 1 rock track transfer case. Let's just say that it's a kick-ass transfer case. It will make a big difference when I'm crawling over the rocks. More torque, more power. So there you have it, my new Rubicon. Some would say diamonds are a girl's best friend, but not me. What do you say? Yes, give it here. I prefer rubies, black ones. You could say this is my black diamond. I can't wait to show her those rock gardens. Until next time, life is too short. Enjoy it while you can.